Hi, my name is Nolan Yap with Yapping About Cars, and today I'm here to talk about the rooftop tent system from Iron Man. And I'm going to show you overall the setup of it and then my personal uh, opinion about it. So to explain the way how I mounted this system on my 2019 GMC Canyon, it's very hard to find places that are able to actually mount rooftop tents uh, for this truck. Uh, I guess just in general, the, the problem I ran into was uh, the tonneau cover. Now me having a tonneau cover in Oregon, I need it one not only for security, but because of all the rain. And uh, I already was putting all my gear on top of the vehicle, so I had no room to put a tent. And so what it allowed me to do is that I took these Thule track systems, and then uh, these landing pads from Yakima, and then these HD bars. I believe they're the large size, goes all the way across here, and back over here and it's it's a fairly uh, structurally sound system i will recommend that you go to a professional shop so you kind of have a warranty i went to a shop called rack attack that installed this for me and they said it's going to be totally fine so if something does go wrong then it's not my fault it's theirs uh and uh overall the the system itself this uh the iron man is about 100 pounds so the weight of these landing pads uh can hold i think about it's 400, 450, I'll have to check it, and then I'll write the correct number in the comments below. And, uh, but moving weight is about 250, so this fits right perfect with that kind of weight limit uh, rating. And I've done some great trails, some really bumpy ones too, and this has not failed me uh, yet, knock on wood. Uh, so now I'm gonna show you how to set the system up. Unlike the hard shell tents, this is a little bit longer than um, most tents to set up, not specifically the Iron Man brand, but the soft top ones. And now you see online a lot of people say, oh, it, it takes forever. Well, it takes, it takes a long amount of time in comparison to what we'd say, a, a, like the hard shell tents. But in comparison to, let's say like a ground tent, you're looking at a five to 10 minute install versus you're looking 20, 20, 25 minutes for your average ground tent that you bought at REI or something like that. So I'm going to show you kind of how I have to go through the system and how to set up this tent. It's actually fairly easy once you get the hang of it. The rule of thumb as I look at it is that look, once you put it on first time, it's going to take you about 20 minutes to do it. But once you get the hang of it, you're going to start getting down the time lower, lower and lower, because you just know where everything goes and uh, how to put everything back. So you're going to take these Velcro straps, kind of feed them through the loops like so. And do, 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 do. Sometimes they're a little tricky because the Velcro, it keeps getting stuck back on there. Take that off, there we go. Same thing over here. Now, once you get the straps off and all the bungee cords kind of out of the, uh, the loops under here, you can take this Velcro where I wrap this around here so it doesn't blow in the wind. And then you're gonna just lift up here. You see how it has a zipper and you're just gonna glide it all the way around it. Now that you're here, uh, like, like most of these things, it's easier with two people, but just because it's myself, I'm going to show you how to do it. So then you're going to take this waterproof cover and just flip it up out of here. And you can see the exposed tent under here. And uh, sometimes it gets a little tricky with the ladder right here. But all you do is just push it over and then you come around the other side and then you just pull it off. Like so. Now with the waterproof cover, you can slide it off. As you can see here, it's just like in the track system, much like their uh, awning system with the extended awning uh, kind of room. Um, but for me, I don't need to access my cab like you would traditionally with a rooftop tent over the cab itself. Uh, so I kind of just let it hang on the side here and it, it just works just fine. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take the ladder, take it out here. And one thing I had to do with the ladder is that uh, it is designed for the top of a vehicle, not over the bed. So it was a little too long. So what I do is take a drill and just kind of drill just a couple more slots above one of the uh, stairs. And so allow it to be a little bit lower. Just put my foot on the tire. Just give it a little strength. Now that's up here, you can take this, walk it out just a little bit, and then just ease it down. Here comes the rest of the setup. You have this bar that hangs right in here, right? Then you're gonna take this end and put it right 
in right in there. Take this guy, same thing here. So in there. Get the waterproof covering over here. And you're just gonna feed it over. Whoop, there we go. This sometimes happens. But once you put it in there with the cover taut on it, you'll never have a problem with it coming undone. This just allows it so you have this little private canopy. So like I said, if it's raining or anything like that, it allows you to keep your stuff dry. Now coming into here, you have the steps right here. And this little fly net, and then I have uh, rolled up the outside waterproof uh, cover. You just crawl on in here. What's great about this system as well, it comes with a nice mat, it's like some kind of foam, would we'll say it's memory, but uh, it's fairly comfortable. And uh, overall, it's very spacious. See, with my, <laughs> my big boots, um, it's uh, structurally sound. Now, in, at night, if it's very windy and you're kind of a light sleeper, you might want to look at a hard shell version because it is a little loud. But overall, protecting me from rain and whatever, uh, it's a great system for the price of $9.50 in comparison to some competitors that it's really hard to find rooftop tents at least under $1,000 of any quality that you'd actually want to put on your rig. And the Ironman system actually does this pretty well. And there you have it. That is my review of the Ironman rooftop tent system on my 2019 GMC Canyon. Overall, I've been very impressed by the system for the price of it. Ironman is really consistent on the product quality and then on top of that with the price itself. Um, so if you'd like to, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like more reviews of my vehicle or anything else on top of it or inside, please let me know, and I'd love to make a review about it. Thank you so much, and have a great day.